my goal was never to be on television as a dancer, and it just happened to be I was here in New York dancing called it's Cheryl Burke. which completely changed my life. Find that passion, you find that dream, and you just go for it. It's been an amazing run, and I've had I so can... much fun doing it. Top dancers like two-time winner Cheryl Burke. I never thought in a million years that this would have happened to me. Managed to turn the foxtrot into a fortune. You want to win. Absolutely. And accept nothing less. Nothing Any less. hints on who's going to be on this year's show? Oh, I have show? no idea. No, no idea. How is it for you when you find out who it's going to I'm be like? I'm nervous. Uh, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. And I just can't wait to find out who my next partner will be. Life really has changed so much since I started doing Dancing with the Stars back in 2006. I think for me, the biggest change was you know, people recognizing you, coming up to you, wanting to talk to you. And usually, you know, mostly everybody is nice, but you always run into that one person, you know, that they're like, hmm, they kind of scope you out, they take a second look at you. Since I am on a competition dance show, some people like you, some people don't. You know, everyone has their own opinion. Believe it or not, you and I have so much in common. I think we're all such strong women with big dreams. So I'm just so happy to be able to share my story with you guys today. I never thought I could ever put it behind me. It was really tough. I was so confused, as you can imagine, as a six-year-old kid, wondering why did this happen to me? And did I, am I doing something wrong? You know, I was so, I was so confused. I was too scared to tell my parents. It was my sister and I that both got sexually abused. And it was one of the hardest, and it still is a hard, hard thing for me to get through. But for me, you know, I just was so confused as a kid whether to confront my parents. I was terrified. I was scared. I was going through so many different emotions in my life. And I would say the hardest part of my life was really testifying in court after finally going up to my parents and doing the right thing. But as you can imagine, as a little kid, you're just confused and you have no idea what's happening to you. And so we finally did testify in court, and it was the hardest um, for me, the hardest thing I've ever been through in my life. And to this day, you know, I still have to try and work hard to put it behind me. And for me, what helps me the most, being able to put something like that behind me, is being able to talk to people. Being able to talk to people like you guys today. Being able to go to therapy. Being able to talk to your family and friends. And, you know, just because you've gone through something like that or something similar, the world doesn't end. You can always move forward. You can always push forward. And you just need to know that life does continue. And you need to stop blaming your past. And you need to just start looking into the light and move forward.